Hello everyone and welcome to Catalan. My name is Lucio and I run product marketing here at Catalan and today I am going to show you one of the great features that we have included in Catalan Studio 8.1. With this feature you will be able to apply the fail fast principle in your DevOps pipeline by setting up a threshold that is going to help you stop your testing executions or your test executions if there is a, a certain amount of bugs or failures that you find in your tests. Let me show you how this works. So in this case, I have, I'm have i working with Catalan Studio Enterprise, the latest version, 8.1 in this case. And in the background, I already have the runtime engine going on. All right, so I have two different tests here. One that I know is gonna pass. It's very simple, it's going to open, open a browser, it's going to search for something on Google, and then it's going to close the browser. Here I have a, a test that I know is going to fail. I made it try to search for something on the UI that doesn't exist. And now here I've had created a test suite which includes those two um, scenarios, all right? So to start working with this, the first thing that you're going to do after you create your test cases and put them on your test suite, we're going to go ahead and generate the command that we're going to use in the console. So first things, we're gonna go ahead and select, uh, select an organization. In my case, I have these integrated with Catalan Testops. And now what I want you to focus on is on this new feature right here. So we're going to go ahead and the second one in the list of execution configurations. Just go ahead and tick that box. It's called terminate the execution once the total number of test failures reaches this threshold. So this means I, am, I want Catalan Studio to stop the execution of that test suite once it reaches two failures, two consecutive failures, all right? And for each one, that is not all, for each one, I want Catalan Studio to try to, to retry that execution once it fails three times. So what we're going to see is that for one, that is one is going to pass, it's not going to do anything. And for the other two, it's going to try three times and see if they, it can apply uh, some sort of fix. And then it's going to tell us, you know what, we're done. This thing is failing. Go ahead and check it out and see what is going on and go back to the testing. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and generate the command that I need to use on my terminal or your command prompt, depending on the operating system that you're working with. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that on the clipboard board and go back to my terminal. Remember that I already have the runtime error engine going on here. So I'm going to paste that string and I'm just going to hit enter. And what is going to happen here is it's going to go ahead and check for my licenses, go ahead and set everything up. And in a moment you will see, oh, here you can see this is the demo that we're running. And in a moment you will see that it will try to open, it's going to try executing one of the tasks, which is going to open a browser. It's going to go ahead and search for something in Google. It's gonna click around a little bit and close the browser. That one is good, it closed. This one right here is trying to look for an element that doesn't exist in the UI. So I want us to pay attention here at what we're seeing in the activity in the terminal. So there is the first failure or the first execution is trying to, to create it. There is no element in there and it's going to go ahead and retry two times, uh, three times in this case. So we have the first time that it tried it. We have the retry the first time. Then we're going to see one or two more of these. And there it is, that was three times. Now it's going to go ahead and do the second execution and it's going to go ahead and try it three times as well. So remember the first time, it won't find the button that I'm telling you to go and click and we're going to see two different uh, retries in there because I'm giving it the opportunity in that setting that we just um, created there. And in a few moments, you will see that this one will fail as well. And then there is something that I really want us to see here, which has a lot of value when you're trying to work with, and is the fact that it's going to actually tell us that it reached the threshold. So there it is, final execution. It's telling us, hey, we're done. There is nothing else here for you to do. You need to go back and check what is going on with your code or your UI. But the cool thing about this is that it's telling us here in the log, it's telling us, hey, your test suite or the execution went ahead and canceled, we canceled it because it reached the threshold, uh, because it, it reached the limit that the limit that we put there in the, in the maximum number of uh, tests or failure allowed, all right? So now if we go back to Catalan Studio, we can go ahead and close all this stuff that we had open, and now we go down to the reports. Let's go ahead and re refresh this 
uh, so we get the latest and greatest so if we go ahead and scroll all the way down you will see that we have the latest report and let's take a look at what is going on here all right so now we see that there is a test case that passed that is the one that i designed for it to pass and then we have the second one which failed um, two times according to the to the limitations that i put in there so this is a wonderful feature that i'm very excited to bring to you because it will help you save time it will help you save and manage cost and money in your testing environment and it also based on uh, what we believe here in catalan which is test automation is there for you to test early to test often and to test everywhere in your devops pipeline with this feature we enhance those benefits by allowing you to be able to stop where you find an issue because there is no way there is no reason for you to continue working on something that you know is going to fail in the future so in this case you can go ahead and stop your pipeline figure out what is going on with the code fix it and then go back to testing so you can pro continue producing awesome products all right folks i hope that you enjoyed this demo and please reach out to us if you have any questions happy testing bye bye